Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. As I've been saying every week for many years, it is time for our weekly tarot slash astrology blog here on November the 4th of 2018. So as usual, I'm going to go over uh, some Tarot de Marseille cards, talk a little bit about the Tarot for this week, a general reading for all of us, and then we'll look at some astrology. And this week is, I think, particularly interesting. Interesting. Okay, in a moment, the cards are going to come down on the screen and cover my face, the Tarot de Marseille. This is the old style Tarot from the... 18th, 17th centuries, okay, and I find this to be visually compelling and very powerful to read with. So the cards that are coming down now are going to be the Four of Swords, the Page of Coins, and the Ten of Swords. So now if we look at the pattern that we have here, we have these cold swords. Swords are cold. Steel is cold. Swords push things away or even attack, and they do so coldly. There's four of them here. In the middle of the four is a flower. The flower looks rather restricted. It's growing. It's not killing the flower, but it's gone about as far as what it is going to do. Then we have the warm page of Coins. Coins are warm. They're exciting. Money's exciting. Diamonds are exciting. We hold them in our hand. We hold them close to us and they generate energy and ideas. And here we have our page of coins staring at his coin, looking towards the left, the direction of the past. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Now, this is a card with a fearsome reputation, and the Rider Waite, they depict it as somebody being stabbed ten different ways. You know, it gets very creative with that. Now, here we have a strong, cold expansion, fairly quick, from four of swords to ten of swords, interrupted or blocked by that warm page of coins, who is looking at his coin, looking at the past. So focusing on projects perhaps that we have already started. Looking at our goals from the past, we find that we get things under control. We slow down any negative progression. We could also look at the two swords in the ten. You know, yeah, those two swords crisscrossed. Now that could be cooperating. That could be having some help from somebody else as well. But the main thing I see is the disruption of a negative pattern. So if you find yourself with troubles multiplying this week, go back to basics. Look at where you're coming from. Look at what it was that you were really trying to do. And odds are, you're going to find yourself back on track. Okay, the astrology for this week. Well, we have a couple of big things. Wednesday... We are going to have a new moon in Scorpio. Yay! I like new moons. Good opportunity to start something new, ask for more money, ask for more spirituality, a time for attraction, time to bring things in. I always do something for the new moon, always. I never miss, or rarely miss a new moon on any given month. It's a great time to plant those seeds. It's a great time to go ahead and start bringing in that power, that manifestation, for whatever it is that we want or need. But now another thing too happens on the 7th, that's the Wednesday the 7th of November. Besides that new moon in Scorpio, the sun is going to be 15 degrees in Scorpio. Now this is significant. This is the true Samhain. This is the true time of the thinning of the veils from what I was taught. So this is a time we communicate with the other side more readily. That veil is very thin between worlds. It's easier to contact the departed, easier to get in touch with spirits. So if you're interested in doing something like that, 
this coming Wednesday on New Moon is going to afford you an excellent opportunity should you choose to do it. Then the following day, Thursday, the 8th, we're going to have planet Jupiter going into Sagittarius early in the morning, like 7.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, something like that. Okay, That's really good because that's a sign that Jupiter rules. So Jupiter, planet of abundance, prosperity, speculation, expansion, is going to be very strong. And we're going to have the Moon conjunct Jupiter at 2.06 p.m. I'm telling you, that's no better time to do a manifestation ritual than at that time. Okay, I'll double check it. I go ahead and take a look at an astro chart. Uh, I know that uh, the moon is going to be squaring Mars earlier that day, but it's separating from that square. Okay, so there's nothing really negative. There should be nothing negative getting in the way of doing a very strong prosperity spell or ritual. be a very good time to do it. If you want to work with exactly with the aspect, which I would like to do in this case, it would be 2.06 p.m. to do that working. Okay, So this is some powerhouse stuff that we have coming up for this week. And I think overall this should be a good week for us. Well, there you go. Thanks for tuning in for my weekly tarot slash astrology blog. I really appreciate you. I hope you remember to turn your clocks back. It is fall back. Spring ahead. We're in fall. So we fell back an hour. I appreciate you tuning in. Till I see you next week, many, many blessings.